Okay, friends, it is time to finally release Lucy from the garden. If you haven't heard about Lucy, stay tuned. You're gonna love this plant. She's amazing. She's the tallest lettuce plant in the whole world. So today we're gonna pull her from the garden and talk about saving her seeds so that Lucy can continue her life for many, many generations and seasons to come. Let's do it. Welcome to Gardenary. Garden plus ordinary equals gardenary. And we are on a mission to make gardening an ordinary part of everybody's life once again, because it's just so fun as evidenced by this incredible plant that I like to call Lucy. So uh, let me tell you about Lucy. We are actually gonna be pulling her from the garden today. It's a big day for Lucy because she has been in this garden since the end of February. Today, I think it's the middle of September. So March, April, May, June, July, August. She is almost seven months old, if you can believe it. And uh, Lucy was planted with a group of um, rocky top lettuce seeds from Baker Creek. Um, if you haven't heard the story of Lucy, be sure to go back and watch some of our other videos on the channel about Lucy. So she's an heirloom lettuce plant. And I quickly realized as the lettuce plant started to bolt, what a unique kind of plant Lucy was. So I've let her just continue and start to produce seed. And you can see how huge her seed head is. Now, just for comparison, I wanna first show you a typical lettuce plant that bolts in the garden. I'm gonna show you two actually from the same lettuce mix. So here is one, I'm gonna harvest this one first. So here is one, so you can see this is typically what a lettuce plant would do um, once it's finished its life. So you can see these are remnants of the lettuce leaves that you'd be eating. And then up here we have all the seed heads from this lettuce. Now a lot of these have already um, kind of fallen from the plant, but this is pretty typical. So, you know, like you take my height, you put that up, that's probably what, what do you think? Three feet, three feet tall? I'm 5'8 for reference. So I don't know, two and a half, three feet tall. So that generally is the largest that a lettuce plant would bolt to and, and grow to in its lifespan. So that's one example of what's typical. I'll show you one more for reference. So this one again is from the same lettuce mix. This is a red leaf lettuce and you can see same kind of thing, right? So it's bolted. It's still got a lot of the lettuce leaves on it and all of these, um, these flowers are then going to seed. So you can see this is a pretty typical size for a lettuce plant to bolt to maybe about two feet, two and a half feet tall. So I've had a lot of friends when I started posting about Lucy, especially on Instagram, send me pictures and say, look, this is another lettuce plant that's bolting. And while they are impressive, I have to say, I have yet to see one that's this tall. Lucy is like, she's in a class of her own. So we've got, this is baby bear, this is mama bear, and now we're gonna, actually, I think Lucy's a girl, obviously. So this is like big sister bear, and then this is mama bear. So, um, so what we're gonna do uh, for Lucy, I've been so, I've had such a hard time knowing when to take Lucy out of the garden, because as you can see, her seed head is at all different stages. So she has some of these, I'll show you um, kind of an example. Now it's interesting, lettuces are actually, um, they, the word is from the Latin word like lactiva or something because there's actually like a milky substance in these lettuce plants and it becomes really evident when they go to seed, like they're super milky. So just to touch the plant makes me sticky. Um, but you can see here's um, an example of the seeds that have completely finished up. So when the seed heads are brown like that, those are the ones that are done. But let me pick a couple of different stages to show you the difference. But see, this one is, um, is at the stage right before that. Oops, let's try another one. Is at the stage right before that, so it has not turned brown and dried yet. So this one is not yet ready to become this size. And then this would be an example of what they look like, you know, just as they start to flower. So it goes from here to here to here. So as you can see, as you look at Lucy, she's still got tons of these kinds of heads. So it's been really hard to know when to pull her out of the garden because I'm like, oh, if I wait a little bit longer, 
I'll get some more seeds. So it's so tempting, you know, it's like greed, I guess. Um, well, I just want Lucy to grow to her fullest potential. You know what I mean? So um, anyway, but today's the day. We're just gonna go ahead and what I'll do is, um, is bring this indoors and see if some of these will actually um, dry up and become seed heads too. So the way I like to pull a lettuce plant from the garden is just actually cut it right at the soil level. So we're gonna do that and just slowly, as gently as possible, pull uh, Lucy out of the bed. So are you ready? Lucy, it's kind of makes me sad to pull her out. She's like such an amazing friend. All right, so we are gonna cut. My goodness, guys, this is a serious stalk. Wow, that is incredible. All right, so here we go. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? All right, we're gonna slowly lift Lucy from her trellis. So these trellises were actually put here for cucumbers. But when I realized how big Lucy wanted to grow, I decided, you know, I was just gonna let her have the trellis all to herself because special girls need that. Now you can see, do you see all the white? There's actually like milky substance on the trellis um, from the plant. All right, here we go, guys. Are you ready? Lucy, she's so amazing. There she is in all her glory. Lucy has been my best friend this summer. She's helped me through quarantine, given me hope that uh, nature is still going, even though we're all kind of having a tough time. So if we could stand Lucy all the way up, I don't want to bend her. Let's see if I can straighten up her seeds. All right, guys, so I'm 5'8", and the tallest part of Lucy, she's touching the ground, and the tallest part of Lucy is at my nose. So this means that Lucy is about five, she's about 5'5", five, five, I think. What do you think, 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, something like that? So crazy. Um, she's an incredible plant, so what we're gonna do with Lucy is, um, get milk all over. It's literally so sticky. It's really interesting to feel. So um, we're gonna take Lucy indoors. I'm gonna put her in the basement in a cool, dry place. And I'm actually just gonna hang her up just like this and, um, and let all of the seeds fully dry. And then we'll harvest them when, um, you know, when I can get as many brown ones as possible. I think this is gonna be a great task for my kids to do. What do you guys think? Check out, there's another video on our channel about how to pull the seeds from a lettuce plant. So you can learn more about that. Um, and I'm sure we'll have lots of follow-up videos all about Lucy. So um, thank you, Lucy, you sweet little lettuce plant. Well, not little. Um, this really, if you don't believe in the magic of the garden, um, you gotta believe in it now. Cause this one little plant came from a package of seed. Inside the package of seed, there were probably 250 seeds. And uh, this one seed is now going to become probably thousands more. It's just incredible. All right, so don't forget the magic of Lucy and let me show you. Come in here, I want to show you how Lucy has already shown her magic because in here in the garden are new Lucy's that have already started to grow um, from the seeds that she's dropped so far. So um, even though it's sad to see her go, it's a good sign to know that she's already on her way to coming back into the kitchen garden. Pretty exciting. All right, thanks so much for celebrating the kitchen garden magic with me. I hope this inspires you that there's so much magic waiting right outside your back door. Sometimes we feel like we gotta go somewhere or be something or have something to have um, joy in our lives, but honestly, it's often waiting just in a little packet of seed. You never know when one seed you plant is gonna turn into a Lucy. Thanks so much for being part of Gardenary. I'll see you next time.